Hi, my name is Keith Parsons, and today we're going to talk about what's in my wireless LAN toolkit. This is a toolkit I use for uh, pre and post site surveys as well as wireless LAN troubleshooting. I have other kits that I take depending on which course we're teaching. Uh, and there's we're learning a projector or other equipment. Uh, sometimes on pre-site surveys, uh, we'll use you know a couple of APs to do some RF analysis to see the thickness of the walls in attenuation. And I have a little small kit that I'll take along for that as well. First of all, we're going to talk about this uh, Pelican 1560 rolling case. It uh, has wheels, has an extendable handle. Uh, right now, the way it's loaded up, it weighs about 47 pounds, maybe 48. So when I travel, it goes with me as baggage. I just take it to the check-in check counter. They check it in, um, and it flies with me just as baggage. Every time I open it up, it has those wonderful little TSA stickers, so I know they always look inside and see all the fun pieces in there. Uh, this version I got with a padded divider, and then I can customize the dividers. I've used a little plick pick and pluck foam before. Uh, yeah, it looks a little better, but you can't stuff as much stuff inside. So I like the padded divider method. I also carry uh, two little TSA locks. Uh, they're uh, TSA approved and they keep the thing locked and the TSA can still open them and yet they stay locked during transit. Sometimes the cases when they get old, the, the latches get loose or TSA doesn't put them back on properly. And so I've seen them open coming down the baggage claim. So I lock both locks every time. This goes as baggage. Uh, this current one's had probably close to 500,000 miles uh, flight time on it. So it's gone a long way. So let's get on and look in the case and see what's in there. Uh, we'll switch also have an overhead camera view so you can kind of look and see uh, as I open it. On the front of the case, you can tell this has been traveled a lot. I keep uh, business cards on it. This one happens to have yellow stripes. I have other versions with uh, red and blue stripes and green stripes, depending on which uh, class or job I'm doing. Uh, this yellow stripe one is for uh, the, more of a consulting kind of kit. Uh, keep a little QR code on there just in case. Uh, it has the same information as the uh, business card, how to track me down. Uh, as well as there's a QR code and business cards on the side and bottom and yellow stripes go all the way around. I want to make sure I can find this when I get to baggage claim. Well, let's open it up. Inside in the lid has this uh, little foam. So the foam is keeping the lid and all this stuff from touching the lid safe. Uh, inside I have it packed with uh, different little dividers. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take each of the sections out and we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, the first kit here is my Air Magnet Tools Kit. It has all the licensed cards, USBs, uh, USB things, all the parts I need for doing Air Magnet kind of tra training and or uh, consulting. This next one is uh, my hard drive kit. This little guy has two 750 gig hard drives. Uh, one has uh, movies, media, uh, music, audiobooks. The other one has uh, a backup of my hard drive, my main machine's hard drive, plus all the training material backup uh, and backups of any of the installer discs I might need while I'm on the road. This little kit here is for um, when I need to connect up to a network. It has network connectivity pieces and I'll show you details of what's in that network connectivity again. These next couple of sections have pieces in them that I don't, they don't quite fit into a Pelican case. So I stuff them in here. This first little area has obviously cleaning stuff, the microfiber cloth you need to have around. Uh, this is a Logitech little USB based uh, laser pointer and changer for when I do uh, teaching. Uh, this little Stanley is a laser, a laser range finder and doing for surveys, I need to check out distances. The next one over has more of the tools kind of pieces in here. And this set has uh, Maglite, and of course you have, always have to have your uh, Leatherman with you. This little Leatherman kit here has 
all the little um, screwdriver tips, blades, etc., that you might need. Pens and lasers, as well as a regular screwdriver that has double-ended points. So this, these are the, the tools little section, and they can just kind of stuff in the little holes. The third little one has my uh, Fluke Air Check. I love this little guy. Some of the best parts about it is it's just plain fast. I'm already scanning the network right now. It takes that long, and within seconds you're up and scanning the network. And it's not a uh, full-blown spectrum analyzer. In fact, it doesn't do spectrum analyzing at all. Uh, nor does it do uh, packet capture analysis. But what it does do, it's amazingly fast, easy to teach other people how to use it, and uh, yeah, it's fast. So AirCheck has its own little uh, place to go. We'll shut that off there. This next section on the left side, uh, we'll unload that and show those details there. This is uh, mostly power cords and some little bigger items that I like to carry around. Uh, this section here carries the uh, power supplies and the GPS kit. GPS kit has in it a Garmin eTrex. I like this little eTrex. It does uh, some amazing things as far as a GPS. One, it has on the back a USB port, so I just connected it up to USB. Very easy to use. Two, it has in the back of it, if I can pop the little side off, just regular AA batteries, so they're easy to, to get. I carry spares around. Uh, the best part about it is it's uh, as a USB device. I can connect it up to my computer and easily take care of it. But on screen, you can see when you get a lock. You can also use it for other fun things, tracking, getting GPS coordinates. So keep that along with me. And then in the main uh, section, oh, there's one of my little locks there. In the main section, I have the USB kit. We'll walk through this USB kit uh, in just a second, as well as computers. Always carry on a power cord with extension. You can put three ad adapters on there. Very useful to have. A, a Dell uh, 430. This one does have a PCMCA slot for things that I need PCMCA with. Uh, it's a little small Dell, easy to use. This one's currently running XP. Underneath it, I have a pair of uh, MacBooks. The MacBooks are MacBook Airs. This is the 13-inch uh, MacBook Air. And in the actual bigger case, I didn't have a case that fits it, so it, it's a little more buffered, is the 11-inch. 11-inch runs uh, Windows in Boot Camp. The 13-inch runs Windows 7 in uh, Parallels. And when we get to software, we can talk a little bit about how each of those carry their software. And the one at the bottom is my pride and joy here. This is one I use quite a bit. I really like it for doing surveys. So the thing I like about this tablet, this is a motion computing tablet. Uh, it's a J3400. It happens to have uh, kind of uh, that rubberized skin on the outside. This has dual batteries. It's running Windows 7. And it's a tablet. So you just access it from regular tablet screen to do your work. Uh, it's my prime machine for doing site surveys. Sorry about that loud noise. It's because I can do this with it. It sits over your shoulder, hangs down at the side, out of the way. Two hands can uh, walk, talk, move, open doors, do whatever you want. And when you need to survey, swing it up, lift it, and you are now surveying. And as you walk along, the weight of the computer is on your shoulders. You don't need one of those little uh, trays that make you look like you're a cigarette lady from the 40s. This one has it built in. And lightweight, fast, it just works. Not an inexpensive solution, but this little go-anywhere kit that comes with it makes it easy to use. So the main survey machine is this tablet from Motion Computing. A couple other ways you can look at doing surveying. One, if we take this little Dell, it's a small Dell, I have a PCMCA card inside. I can run the internal with a PCMCA slot, and I have a spare, and I have licenses for both machines, so I can be having a person on site going behind me and surveying at the same time as well. 
Uh, this one, though it's lightweight, still does get a little heavy as you're going along. So uh, laptop PC works as well. The one I like to use lately in surveying, if it's a small survey, I don't need to take the big motion computing with me. I just take uh, the little 11 inch, the 11 inch laptop, plug in USB on the side. It's instant on, instant off. It takes mere seconds to fire up. Very, very thin, light, easy to carry, and amazingly fast. It has SSD drive inside. So this is a nice lightweight one. Kind of funny though, I actually carry it this way when I survey. We normally would carry them this way, but somehow it just fits better. Maybe it's just that I have a big fat tummy that I can ride on and uh, easy to, to work with as you're going. Another one I've used in the past is a netbook. We've used these netbooks for quite a while. This happens to be a little Acer netbook. It's lightweight. It still weighs more than the MacBook Air, quite a bit actually. But it's small, fairly easy to use. Very inexpensive. I think they were $300. You can run full air magnet survey on them when you're going. Its downside is its screen resolution is a lot less than I would like. You end up scrolling side to side a little more. So those are the different types of uh, pieces I use. I don't carry the netbooks with me anymore, but all the other pieces, they go in the case. The case itself travels as baggage, goes really well. Now let's uh, come back and look at the individual components and see what the parts are inside those components. First item here is my air magnet toolkit. Inside the toolkit, uh, these are items I use when I'm doing air magnet work. There is a, a PCMCI based Cognio card, a spectrum analyzer by air magnet, an air magnet ABGN card. It happens to have an Atheros chipset. It's licensed as well. A USB, this is a four port USB. Uh, I use it when I'm doing multiple USBs. It also can carry the Spectrum XT, a USB-based spectrum analyzer, uh, a spare little USB connector. Sometimes I just want to do a single card. I have three cards here. These happen to be, I just labeled them 1A, 1B, 1C. This first one has the license, and the other two don't have any licenses on them. This card, uh, little Nick, is an ABGN USB. It's called a Proxim 8494. I have two additional ones in this kit, and these two additional ones both have full licenses on them for Air Magnet's entire product suite, so I can run them on different machines at the same time. These two spares are when I hook up the USB, and I can run one passive and one active survey simultaneously. We're doing uh, Wi-Fi analysis. We can have one, six, and 11, and do roaming analysis. That's the Air Magnet toolkit, and I'll put it back together. all in a nice little Pelican case. Next Pelican case is the tool set I use for uh, accessing network connectivity. In this one we have little uh, Smarttronics, makes these little things. This one's called a loopback adapter. This is a crossover adapter. Your DB9 to RJ45, so I can just use any uh, Cat5 cable to make another terminal cable. Uh, the USB cord that goes with this uh, Keyspan USB to serial uh, connector. The UB USB stick has all the drivers, PuTTY, terminal software, etc. for uh, accessing this USB and doing other terminal things, as well as uh, your standard rolled uh, Cisco console cable. In addition to this kit, I have in the power cord area a null modem, a two meter long null modem cable. And that allows me to get on and connect to just about any kind of system. This little kit contains two copies of Silica U. It is a wireless penetration testing uh, suite from Immunity. It requires a Ubiquity card. It comes with a uh, extension that if you need to run the Ubiquity card into an Express card slot, that's capable. I have two of them with their antennas, USB cords. One runs off of a bootable USB, 
and the other one runs off of a bootable USB, slightly larger drive. This is the newer version. Uh, this tool allows me to run a wide variety of penetration tests. Very simply, just uh, click and let it run, and it can break WAP, do WPA breaking, uh, PSK, if you have the right uh, file you want to test it against, as well as a whole suite of uh, tests that it can run. So from Immunity, this kit is called Silica U. One other tool I like to show off, this little guy. It's a protected, uh, very small, traveling power unit. It gives you three power jacks turned sideways, as well as uh, two USB chargers. And I carry a lot of things that use USB charging. So like this, I just picked it up at Staples. The final one here is uh, a case that I had custom designed because I carry so many USB sticks with me. This uh, case carries the following items. It has a air horn with a 5 dB antenna. That's a 2.4 gig air horn. An air horn uh, dual band. A smaller, older air horn in 2.4. These are all for jamming. Uh, USB, uh, four port little USB uh, hub a couple of MMCX uh, short antennas. This little teeny guy is Ubiquiti's uh, AirView, uh, very inexpensive spectrum analyzer, not great quality, but decent for finding things. And then in the Metageek section, a Metageek DBX, 2.4 and 5 gig, uh, 2.4X and a 2.4I. On the right side, we have a uh, Zizel Wi-Fi finder. Uh, you can just turn it on and, and see what both a and BG networks are available to you, whether or not they're open or closed. And it also turns into a soft AP just by a flip of the switch you know, as you have it in your USB port. It also charges off a of USB. This little guy, this little Nintendo uh, USB Wi-Fi connector can take and very quickly turn any client into a uh, I mean desktop or a laptop client into a portable soft AP. Um, Windows 7, you can do that automatically. This was just a tool I've used a lot of times in doing pen testing. Uh, the next set here are a bunch of different uh, three ABGN dual bands uh, from Netgear and Ubiquiti and U uh, Linksys, as well as a D-Link AG132 that I have some things licensed to have been having around. And then this last set here are three uh, Air PCAP uh, NXs. They're ABGN. They work with uh, Wireshark and Wi-Fi uh, Pilot. And so those can work with USB or I have a, a, they have a bigger kit, a uh, larger USB connector. Well, there you go. That was uh, Keith Parsons traveling kit. Uh, I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. I have some other kits that I want to show off in the future. If you have other things that you like to use, uh, feel free to send an email to uh, feedback at wirelesslandprofessionals.com. We'd be glad to take your input. In another section, we'll do a little video bit on the software tools that I also use on the same kit as I travel around. Thanks for watching.